Uh, Gareth have uh, had a great season. Um, two games left now. What are your hopes personally for these last two games? I think obviously you know, a bit disappointed last week losing against the Blues in the Millennium Stadium, but hopefully you can put things right Friday night against the Dragons and hopefully come away with a win. And you know personally if you play well in these last couple of games against Welsh opposition, you enhance your chances of going to South Africa? Um, yeah, possibly, but you know, I'm not really looking that far to be honest. I'm just looking to put a decent performance in with the team you know, against the Dragons Friday night and then I guess I hopefully look away with, with the win. The Dragons then, uh, Richie Rees, uh, an old head there, what kind of, can you tell us about that personal battle? Um, yeah, Richie's a good player, you know, um, I've been watching him for a couple of years, he's a few years older than me, so it's going to be a good battle, yeah. I played against him the start of the season up in Newport and unfortunately they came away with a win up there, but hopefully we can turn things around this week and hopefully we'll come away with a win. Yeah, how much has that motivated you this week? Uh, Run and ring back to what happened to Rodney Craig. Yeah, you know, like you know, we've been looking back at other games to see where we went wrong. So we got a few things about right, but I think we've had a good week to prep. So um, I think we'll be on form on Friday night. Gareth, you scored some tries this year, some pretty spectacular wins. How much confidence does that give you for Friday when you know you score your tries week on week? Yeah, you know, it's nice, obviously, but um, you know, it's obviously more important important to play well as a team more than scoring tries, I suppose. But you know, so it's a nice little bonus. And we do score a nice couple of tries there. Top of the league at the Tally at the moment, isn't it? I think you're leading away there. Oh, I think so, yeah. I wouldn't, I think I'm winning the front. Uh, right. It'd be nice to have one or two more before the end of the season. It'd be nice to finish yeah. top there, wouldn't it? It would be very nice, yeah. 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 Who have you got a favourite this year? Um, I'm not sure. I think the one up north is quite yeah. nice. I just ran down Pina. Yeah. That's probably one of the favourites, yeah. yeah. But in terms of obviously looking back at the Blues, this frustration, what's, you're almost there in terms of sixth place. But is it more important, as Danny was saying earlier, to finish the season, just just finish well against Welsh opposition? Yeah, I think that's that's the most main thing, you know, boys, to finish high and see, how you, you know, um, a bit of confidence going on to pre-season and then hopefully start well next season. But, yeah. you know, two big derbies, you know, anything can happen, yeah. like we've seen last weekend. Yeah. So, I think we've got to get the um, basic things right and then hopefully we perform well. What have you been doing right then over the last couple of weeks? Um, it's quite hard to say. I think we've been... Trying a bit too hard, maybe trying to score too early, maybe in yeah. phases. Like we got, like yeah. we showed at the start of the second half last week, we went through a few yeah. phases, yeah. and we looked well as a team, you know. So yeah. I think we've got to start like that this week, you know, not try and score from the off and just go through the pattern, and then hopefully um, things will happen. Then. Is that frustrating in a way? And you've, you've had games this season where you've just been spectacular in matches, and then you all these times sometimes the fog of the week that you haven't. Been yeah, able to but you know, especially these derbies now, you, you yeah. know, we can't go into games thinking like that. You know, we got to. Yeah. Put the graft in early, and then um, yeah. things will open up. Yeah. It's uh, it's probably a bit of a cliche, but you everyone said last season the best team to have to play in Welsh rugby coming off the bench this season. It's been a different kind of season. Do you think it affected you to put yourself yeah. in more starts than anywhere else? How have you changed as a player? Do you think um, been more consistent? Mm-hmm. Have you explained to someone? I think it's just um, experience. You know, like I think I'm uh, maturing as a player. So I think. Um, the last season or so maybe I was trying to be too hard in some cases but I think now I'm just you know playing doing the simple things right and just passing 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 and then when the when the gap appears then I'm making the odd break and uh, I think before maybe I was trying a little bit too hard and then making, making a few mistakes and obviously the, at the top you can't really make mistakes because obviously you get punished for them right? Is it decision making basically? Yeah possibly yeah mm-hmm. decision making yeah. And who, who has kind of been the influence on that respect for you? I know the coaches you know um, Coaches obviously they got a big say, and obviously they know more than us players, mm-hmm. especially they got more experience and all that. So, but uh, I think I've learned myself from that. Like, you know, like looking back over my last couple of seasons, I can I can tell that I was trying a bit too hard on some occasions. But now I think I'm a bit more mixture to my game and just doing the basics right more than anything. You said play time and talk as South Africa, but you must be aware that you you put yourself in the frame for it. If it did come that call, what would that mean to you? Um, Obviously, it mean a lot. You know, it's, it's, um, every kid's dream when he's played for years, isn't it? But like I said, I don't really want to look that far. I just want to, you know, put a good performance in Friday night, and hopefully, against the Blues a week after, and who knows, we'll see what happens. And how important was it for the Scarlets to create to get into a new, a huge European competition? A lot of talk about that, the new structure. Yeah. Probably would have been two Welsh teams in there. How, how big a deal was that for the club? Right? Yeah, you know, it's massive, you know, especially as a club like the Scarlets, and you know, we're a big, yes. big name. So you know, we need to be playing in these top. Competitions, it's big for the uh, for the supporters as well. You know, 
you know, if we're not playing in these top competitions, you know, the supporters aren't going to be too keen if they're supporters. So I think that's the main thing is to try and please them as much as you please ourselves. You don't get a call you're a nice holiday? Uh, not yet, but I shall. <laughs> I don't think so, yeah. Oh, the night of the week, I think. Yeah, it's better now, yeah. yeah. I pretend you to be the worst. Um, I knew it was a dead leg, but I've had a few of them in my, my time, but I've never had them that bad before. Okay. I was just trying to tell the future, just give me a few minutes for it to settle down. Yeah. But I think they were being um, a bit cautious more than anything because they thought it was my knee, so right, yeah. that's why the stretcher came up. Uh, What's but, the stick? Uh, I've, had, I've had a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it's, the worst, it's the worst pain I've actually ever had because I've never broken a bone in my life, touch wood, so yeah. it's the worst pain I've had. What does your oldest come after you? Or do you have a dad laying around? Um, he's played with a 15 when he was younger. Yeah. But then um, since I was growing up, then mainly scrum half, yeah. And that's where he wanted to play, so. And was there a scrum half growing up that he kind of... Uh, d- yeah, a dream field, obviously. He's mm-hmm. always been a big um, a big hero of mine, yeah. You met him, right? Um, played against him in the Audi Cup about two years ago. Oh, was that right? Yeah, it was good. Good experience, <laughs> yeah. Up in, up in, uh, up in Sale, yeah. He's a big man, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah, mm-hmm. to be fair, though, yeah. 